this massage is now closed. But there is a lot of poor waiting for the food. No need to have a thousand mosques and there is no musalla there. This time, it is for the ibadah of Muslims from the home. Only that is secret between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't have to show a lot of people what I am doing in the mosque, but I want to show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what I do in my home, in my room, when I am sitting alone. That time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will look to me and He will bless me. And He will accept of my apologize and my gift. So this is the time to start all your zakat to the right place, your sadaqah to the right place, to feed, to help for all the world. If you are in India, in Pakistan, in Africa, in Arab country, you will search and you will find where is the right place to spend all that. And remember, this is also from the Arkham Islam, your zakat is number four, before the hajj. Now the Hajj, a lot of people are planning for Umrah in Ramadan, a lot of people planning for the Hajj in the end of July, but they are announced there is no Umrah in Ramadan. But a lot of people have saving some amount of money to go for Umrah and to spend there. But now you are not going, so you should because of that Money have saved it for the Umrah, meaning for to do Ibadah in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember the bigger Ibadah to do Umrah, bigger than that Ibadah, to give that money for the poor people and for that <laughs> Sayyidina Rasulullah, when he was in the Mecca, he looked to the Khana Kaaba. Beautiful house. He's a Allah house. But he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say man qatala nafsun wa afsad ka'anna ma qatala nafsa jami'a and they say to cut to, to destroy hadmu al-ka'ba hadmu al-ka'ba abdala man qatala nafsin wa you say to destroy the ka'ba who is the ka'ba Allah house it is to destroy better than to kill one Muslims. So this is the time of your ibadah. Sayyidina Rasul, he said, Ahwanu andi man qatli muslim in wahi. He said, even the Kaaba will be finished, but do not kill one Muslim and one nafs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his house is too big and his rahmah is too big. Don't think only I have to go there, I have delete all my apologize, my mistake, forgive but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He wants and He wants to see what you have done for Him before you have come to Him. You have arranged all this, okay, what I have arranged, I want to leave it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His, yani, for the poor people. Maybe somebody, He come to you, example. He say, please help me what Allah has given to you. He say, go, go, Allah will give you. But Allah, if you want to give him, he will give him. Why he come to you? He come to you by the situation and arrangement from Allah to help that person. You will do your duty, you will pay, and that Allah, he will decide he was right or wrong. But you do your duty, have pay for that poor, and you never put his hand, this empty. You have given to him what Allah has given to you. So this is the time now, the masajid, the madaris, the old ibadat, I, would, I don't want to say stop, but it is like freezing these days, because even, they say now is Medina closed, the Mecca is closed, the masajid, all the world is closed, so what is the open, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala door is still open for you and you want to see in this time, in the hard time, what you have arranged and how you become more close to Him. This is the exam time. Don't think that time will stay like this. 
that time when we finish and you will remember you, then you will come back and you will not remember that hard time, you will still remember the good time after that, but still in the hard time now you become much close to the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our, our mistakes. Because there is nobody without mistake in this life. Khairul Khafa'un and Tawabun. And we have to say always, Rahmat, the apologize or forgiveness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, accept us again. And we ask Allah, and you forward alayna hadihi al ghaymat وهذه الغمة وهذا الوباء وهذا الهم وأن يهدينا والجماعة الحاضرين والسامعين والمريدين والمحبين وسائر جراد المسلمين اللهم شافهم وعافهم وارحمنا وبارك لنا ولهم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم بارك لنا وارحمنا